Welcome Geminis, I'm back with another video for the month of August. I hope you guys are doing well. All right, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and click that bell to subscribe. And don't forget to like, comment, and share with your family and your friends. As well, guys, if you would like to book your very own personal reading with the Empress, check the description box. That information is in the drop box below. As well as check out my merch, guys. It's right below the video. If you want to donate to my channel, that information is going to be in the drop box below as well. Um, as well, if you would like to join our money train um, ritual that we have going on, guys, contact me via email so we can give you the details on how to enter. All right. So let's manifest this month and let's see what we got coming in for you guys for the month of August. All right. So this is going to be for Gemini's sun, moon, rising, Venus. What message is there for Gemini's? We got the two of pentacles. So you could be multitasking, a lot of multitasking, a lot of juggling. Um, this is also kind of like conflicted on making a decision, feeling the need to make a decision. Okay. So let's see what we got going on. I got the strength card, Leo's energy. I have the star card, which is Aquarius's energy. I got the nine of swords, as well as the nine of pentacles. Um, the three of swords for past energy, and we got the five of pentacles for future energy. Some of you guys are dealing with a Leo. I got Aquarius, Cancer. I see that something's on your mind. Like you feel kind of uh, stressed out or worried. Some of you may have like anxiety. Um. It could be in regards to something from the past. There was some type of breakup or sorrow in the past. And the Five of Pentacles is feelings of rejection or left out in the cold. Um, or feeling, um, you know, like alone or abandoned. Let's see why the strength card is here. Five of Swords. And the Hierophants. Somebody has an issue with following the rules. With the Five of Swords and the Hierophant, this is Taurus's energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But somebody is like very uh, stubborn and they don't follow your rules. Um, we got the star card here, but let's talk about the nine of swords. And, and this is kind of like, um, making you worry, nine of swords, making you feel, you know, agitated because you want to see some changes. Okay. We got the will of fortune. You want to see some changes. Okay. And you keep your guard up towards this person because you may feel like, with the devil card here and the seven of swords, you may feel like this person is very malicious and sneaky. So you feel like you got to keep your guard up towards this person. Um, why is the star card here? 
Page of Wands. Okay, and the Ten of Pentacles. Something here possibly about a family or money. The Ten of Pentacles. This is in regards like to money or family life. King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I'm getting like someone strict with their money. Maybe you guys are kind of like uh, like strict with your money. Why is the Page of Wands here? Two of Swords. Yeah, like you, you don't want to talk to this person or you're not sure. Um, sometimes you might not answer this person's call. You want this person to have like regrets about how they move with the Six of Swords and the Five of Cups. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Queen of Swords. Yeah, see, your energy is like, I feel like this is someone around you. Because I feel like with your energy here being the Queen of Swords, I feel like you're, um, you're good. Nine of Pentacles, like you're very successful. You're focused on you. Your money may look good. Like you guys are doing good. Uh, with the Three of Swords in the past energy, Seven of Pentacles, and the Eight of Swords. Somebody's stuck waiting. I'm getting like somebody's stuck waiting. Yeah, somebody's stuck. Somebody's stuck waiting. Uh, I don't know, like, if you, you feel sad because... You feel like you feel stuck. I'm getting a lot of waiting energy. Um, and it's like holding some something is being held up. And it's causing a burden with the Ten of Wands. With the Five of Pentacles for future energy. We got the Lovers. I'm getting like victim energy as well too. We got the Empress and the Ten of Cups. So the Empress is Libra and Taurus's energy, but this is mother energy. This is fertility. Um, I'm getting like, I don't know, I, with the Five of Pentacles and the Lovers. Gemini is, this is you guys' energy with this Lovers. I'm getting like, leave me alone. With the Five of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups and the Lovers. But you possibly feel like this person won't leave you alone because I got the Death card here too. Could be dealing with the Scorpio. With the Chariot card, like you're you're trying to progress and move forward. Yeah, see, Eight of Pentacles and the chariot card you could be like going to work and this person calls you um we got the ten of pentacles could be family oriented but this could be in regards to money too and it's like messing up your plans with the tower and the two of wands so something like somebody's in i'm getting like a somebody's interrupting your plans Okay, like somebody's messing with your vibe. If you're messing up your plans, like you want this person to kind of like back off because they're ruining your plans. With the Three of Cups, King of Wands and the Ace of Swords, Libra, Gemini, I'm sorry, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Why is the Ace of Swords here? King of Pentacles, Six of Swords, and the Justice card. I'm getting that Three of Cups is very much so celebrating who, who others are viewing <laughs> others are viewing a situation like the Three of Cups like their energy is like very much so a playful energy this is somebody who could possibly have like drinking, could have drinking issues with the Three of Cups. This is someone who likes to party, especially with this King of Wands energy. Like, 
King of Wands and the Three of Cups. Ace of Swords. Somebody's telling you how they feel. Somebody's telling somebody how they feel. I'm getting, I'm seeing that too. But somebody get got gets offended with the seven of wands. Um, and starts an argument. Why is the page of pentacles here? Yeah, you're tired of this person calling you four of swords and a and the page of pentacles. Yeah. They keep constantly calling you. Two of pentacles, knight of cups, eight of wands. Knight of Wands, you're like this person constantly is reaching out to you. Knight of Swords, the Emperor. This is Father MG. So I've seen Mother and Father MG here. So for some of you, this could be like a mother and a father. This could be um, a baby dad or a baby mom situation. Um, Aries is energy here as well too. It could be dealing. You could be dealing with someone older. Uh, I'm getting like a stepdad. I, I saw that as well, too, with the fool and the emperor. Okay, so seven of swords. Yeah, like, you feel like this person is taking your money. Seven of swords and an ace of pentacles. Like, you feel like they're a thief is basically what I'm getting. Empress, one of kind came out again. Okay, like the mother and the father card are here. I'm getting like possibly like a stepmom or a stepdad could be involved. But why is the Empress here? Oh, I'm getting mother and kids as well, too, with the Knight of Swords and the Empress. Like, I'm getting like a family, like a family. Yeah, and see, you're giving this person money. Six of Pentacles and a Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. And look, there. If, if you're having to give this person money, you're not too happy about it because you feel like they're ruining your plans the tower and the two of wands y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below and i will chat with you guys later